This video is about the embryological development of the nervous system. For me, the nervous system is probably the most important. Without our nervous system, we don't have consciousness or a sense of I. Early in embryological development, the nervous system is infusing everything. And as we learned from the last video on the cardiovascular system, the blood is literally being sucked in by the brain in order to further its development. So the nervous system, this neuronal network that's totally three-dimensional and probably more, infuses the brain, of course, but also has high concentrations in the heart and also in the gut which is called the second brain. Cardiac muscle from the heart is totally responsive to the neurology. It's like the pacemaker cells which carry that electrical component are first born early in embryological development. Remember, the brain and spinal cord arise in relationship to that central midline of stillness. So take a moment and sense that center midline of stillness we explored in previous, a previous video, sensing your perineum and the relationship through your brigma, and just settle again into that space. What begins to form posterior to that is your spinal cord and brain. Brain and spinal cord. So you might get a sense of this more dorsal movement that goes through your body. This descending information from brain and eventually all the peripheral ascending feedback from your world. The brain and spinal cord develop first as a hollow lumen or tube. In the embryo disc, the ectoderm rises up and forms a neural plate. This neural plate then becomes a groove. And again, it's mirroring that central midline of stillness. Eventually what happens, the groove begins to form a tube. Now what's fascinating, and this goes to the, sh the metabolic fields that literally shape the embryo, but this outer side of the tube is, of course, closer to the mesodermal blood supply, the loose connective, spongy, blood-filled connective tissue. It's growing faster. Eventually, this outer side of the tube grows and closes, creating a lumen. What's interesting is the tube closes first in the middle the cranial and the rump end of the embryo are open. This next process is called neuralation, where the cranial end begins to close, and then the caudal or rump end. What will become the cerebral spinal fluid, first known as the amnion, now is trapped inside this lumen or tube. The entire brain grows around what will become the future ventricles, those deep, spacious structures inside your head where cerebral spinal fluid is made. But initially, what happens is that you have the material, the tissues that form the ventricles, 
then you have what will be the white matter and then the gray matter forming and then the pia mater all of these different functional systems of our neurology begin to form so deeply in relationship again to a spacious center. Take a moment and just close your eyes and sense the fullness of that neural tissue that's, that is your brain as it flows down through the foramen magnum of your cranium and becomes your spinal cord. It's your neurology that infuses the neural net, which gives you that connectivity to the heavens, the connectivity and feedback from the earth, and allows an ignition of consciousness through the soma, your physical body, down into the deep cellular structures that allows that arising sense of being in three dimensions. Thank you.